What's going on guys? Today I'm talking about how I've managed to make my sleeping experience much more comfortable since I began camping around six months ago. What I'm looking at today is the comparison between the Thermarest X-Lite long version and the Berghaus Peak sleeping mat. So guys, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, please do hit subscribe and the thumbs up and also hit the bell notification so every time I publish a video I can send it to you. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers and thanks very much for everyone who's subscribed so far. Rather than comparing the two, I'm actually just gonna talk about how, I, how it's kind of made my, my experience more comfortable and how I'm hoping it's gonna make my experience more comfortable going forward. So the Thermarest comes in this little box. Um, it has, you would have seen a few of these reviews online also, but it has an R value of 3.2 um, and it, as I said, it's large. It's about 196 centimeters long. And about 65 centimeters wide. I'm six foot five, so that's really helpful for me. The Berghaus had a length of about 185 centimeters and was much more narrow. I think it was about 50 centimeters wide. So hence I've got the larger mat. The Berghaus is about three centimeters thick and the, uh, the Thermarest is six centimeters. Right, so if you just look at this video here, what you'll notice is that the Berghaus is obviously a lot smaller and that was the main reasons why I got the Thermarest. I'm a tall guy as I've mentioned so I wanted more comfort, I wanted something about a bit longer and, and a lot wider and I've managed to achieve that by this this new pad. So slept on this once before but I'm hoping that going forward this will help really help me out in terms of comfort. Okay so just so you can see the difference in length and thickness really so I'm six foot five and you'll see that's kind of quite snug and it feels quite narrow. What I was finding was I was waking up in the middle of the night just with pins and needles in my arms. It was just so uncomfortable. The thing that you find when you're sleeping on these, when you're cold, you do actually curl up. So length isn't always a big, a big issue. But I think width is important because you can kind of roll off it sometimes. Okay, and so then with the Thermarest Neo Air x Lite, you'll see there's actually a lot, oh, a lot more space. It's a lot wider as well. Um, and I can just, I can feel, whenever I lie on it, I can just feel the heat coming up through, through me. So it's gonna keep me a lot warmer. The pack size is a lot smaller as well. So it packs down nice and small versus my other mat. I'll be able to fit uh, more things into my hiking pack a lot easier. Just in terms of the cost then, so the Neo Air X Lite was expensive. It comes in at about, I think I paid about £147 for it. Depending on which website you find online, you'll be able to find, you can find lots of different prices. Um, but that was the cheapest I could get for the large version. They also do a women's version and a regular version as well. Um, and then they do other mats like the, the Uber Lite, which has a lower R rating. And they have the, uh, the grey version, which is the four season, and it has a higher R rating. But that was coming in at over £200, and I just didn't want to didn't want to spend that much. So I think if I if I layer up with this one and get a really good sleeping bag, I can take this out on some winter camps potentially. And as mentioned, the size, in terms of the weight, this weighs, this comes in at about 460 grams versus my Berghaus one at the moment, which is 650 grams. So it's kind of a win-win other than the cost, which was quite a lot more for this, but I want to be able to make it last and I'll be getting a lot of use out of it. So. I'm so far really pleased with that. I think in a few weeks time, I'll, once I've used it a few more times, I will, um, I'll give you an update in terms of what, what I think of it after a few weeks of use. Again, I looked at all the reviews online and this, this pad came out uh, um, on top. I also looked at a wider pad from a company called Neo and I've still decided to go for this one just because, just in terms of cost and I think the, the value for money that you get from this is really good. So you'll have seen this pad a few times on a few videos, but yeah, just keen to, to kind of show you guys how I'm sort of developing my kit as I'm progressing with this and how I'm hopefully going to make my sleeping experience much more comfortable. So I'll put the links to both of the sleeping mats that I've been looking at today below. If you've got any comments about either mat or any questions for more me, please let me know and I'll respond to you. It'd be really good to hear any of your feedback if you've used any of these mats before and what you think of them or if you're a taller person or a shorter person or any kind of body size, um, what, what kind of works best for you and what equipment you're using would be really great. Okay, so thanks everyone for tuning in. It was a short video, but 
I'm aiming to get out very soon. It will either be a trip to maybe to Wales, maybe to Lake District or maybe to Peak District. I've not decided yet. So thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.